Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Pokemon Crimson Invasion Triple Pack Poke Openings. As you can see in front of us here we have the uh, Decidueye version of the Triple Pack. Uh, if you want to see the opening of the Lucario Triple Pack and you haven't already then I will leave a link at the end of this video. But without further ado let's get into it. As with before we'll uh, look at everything in a minute but you do get this Decidueye promo, uh, a Shaman pin, three packs and that is the back there if anyone wants to pause to read either of these. But that's not why you're here. You're here to see if I can pull anything good. And if I do pull anything good, I have a uh, Shining Legends sleeve here, just in case I do pull a GX or something better. In the last episode, uh, I did pull a hollow and not realise it was a hollow. So well done me there. Hopefully in this episode, if I do pull one, I'll at least be able to tell you that it's a hollow. For the code count to this side that just fell out there. Get this third pack out. Uh, we won't take the coin out because I looked at that in the first part. And this is the Decidueye promo. I think I prefer the Lucario one despite the fact I like Decidueye as a Pokemon a lot more. Just because the artwork's a little cooler. This is kind of more run of the mill, kind of hey, he's flying and there's a shiny background. But it's still a pretty cool card. Let's put that in the back there. And we have three packs, which is Silvalli, Cartana, and Buzzwall again. Uh, I haven't got the fourth pack design, actually, slightly annoyingly, but whatever. I'm sure I'll buy more packs of these. I do like to try and get all four pack designs, just to kind of keep for future references and stuff. Right, let's try and get into this pack without destroying it. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Although, this is looking like a pretty clean uh, open. I'm sure that's what everyone watching cares about, how cleanly I open my packs. Okay, well, hell to that. Uh, I've actually just kind of destroyed it. Let's take the code card away. Put four to the front, and let's begin with our first pack. Okay, fire energy. Oh, we have a pillow swine. Okay. Didn't know you were in this set, dude. That's, that's nice. Uh, I like Pillow Swine. Mama Swine is actually one of my favourite Gen 4 Pokemon. Uh, we have peeping, peeping, Peeking Red Cards. We have a Mill Tank just chilling by the tree. We have a Starly. We have... Oh, Gogoat! Yay! I haven't seen him in quite a while. Gogoat was... I used to have a goat as a pet when I was a kid. Uh... It's not really relevant. We have a Pikachu. Wow, that's a... That's an interesting looking Pikachu there. I don't think that's the regular dimensions of its face. But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm not one to judge. If, you know, if it's happy uh, being a Pikachu, then that's all that really matters. we got Houndor or Houndour. Uh, depends how you pronounce it. Ah, oh, we have a Jigglypuff. Interesting uh, version of Jigglypuff. The art for a few of these cards actually is slightly reminiscent of the Sun and Moon anime where they draw everything a little bit kind of basic and a little bit derpy but they're still endearing. We have a Regirock, so it looks like all of the Regis are in this set. Uh, reverse, of course, Regirock. And our rare is... Ooh, Gengar! Okay, so I got the... Ah! And it is hollow! Yeah! See, I didn't make that mistake this time. So I pulled the reverse in the last uh, p uh, last part, and I'm glad to see that this did actually get a hollow uh, version, not just an uncommon or a regular non-hollow rare. That's a really cool looking card. Definitely, I think, my favourite card from this set so far. Uh, right, let's move on to the next pack. Let's, let's keep Kaltana till last. This one let's really mix it up, apart from the fact they already opened Buzzwall first. Like I did in the first part, but whatever. Let's tear into it. Okay, let's extract the cards and discard the pack. Code card to the side, four to the front. Let's begin pack two. Ooh, psychic energy. I think we've been getting all different energies uh, throughout all the five packs I've opened so far, which is pretty cool. Oh man, a lowland graveler. Oh yeah, I really like the Alolan uh, Geodude line. Ah, oh, so cool. And Alolan Golem has the most majestic moustache. We have a Chinchino. Glad to see it's not one of the rares of the set, because I think that would have 
kind of taken me back to the old black and white days about three different sets of Chinchino as a rare, which I kept pulling. Uh, we have a Mistrevus. Interesting, interesting looking art. Very dark and uh, foreboding there. It looks a bit black and red, which isn't what Mistrevus is, but okay. Uh, we've got a very, very cute stuffle to offset the dark atmosphere of that card. We have a Feebas swimming with some logs. Okay. We ha oh okay we have a Jangmo. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce. I think it's Jangmo, uh, but I could be wrong. He is okay. I thought he was breathing fire for a second, but he's not. That's just the background there. We've got Staryu chilling with some other Staryus. Ooh oh man, this is a uh, just saw the the water symbol kind of background. That's a really nice uh, reverse design. We have a Corfish. Nice to see Corfish. I guess it's not a Pokemon I'd love, but it's not something I hate either. And our rare is... Oh man! Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a Kumo! Uh, so, Changmo is the middle one then, is it? I I can never remember the names of these dragons. I'm not all that fond of them, actually. I uh, don't know if that's controversial or not. I don't know how other people feel about it, but I don't know. Like, the Changmo line has never really been one that since Saurian Sun, it was like yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay, well, that is a, a regular, that is a regular rare, isn't it? Yes, it is. There's no shiny. Okay, so, last pack. Can we pull another hollow? Can we, can we make this a double hollow triple pack? Or maybe a GX? I'm not holding my breath, though. Uh, I don't think my luck is quite that high. I feel like the last few sets have actually dialed back a bit. On the um, well, I was gonna say generosity, but it's not really generosity because, in order for cards like hollows and GXs to be considered worthwhile and valuable, then you do need to make it so they're more difficult to pull. So, I fully agree with that there. But the last few sets, I feel like I haven't had as much uh, GX pulls or EX pulls, you know. Anyway, let's start with an electric energy. Ooh, okay, there we are. Uh, so, ah, Hakamo is the middle one. There we are. Well, we have the whole line now. That's that's cool. I'm happy with that. I always find it a bit um, annoying when I have two out of three of the evolution line or something. We ha ah, Diggersby. Okay, cool. We finished that line up as well. Uh, just pulling loads of cards. I think this is like the fifth peaking red card I've pulled over six packs now. That's that's good though, I'm sure it's a useful card. I don't know what it really does, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. But Star you Ooh, we have a Dino. That's cool. I really hope uh, Zuelus gets a hollow in this set. Again, for those of you who I don't know are new to this forever, I never check card lists before opening these because I like to be fully surprised about the inclusion of all types of Pokemon. We have an Aeron, uh, with some other Aeron near a building of some kind. Interesting. Oh wait, is this the uh, recycling plant? The place where you fight the father and son with the Alolan Grimer and Muck in Pokemon Sun and Moon? I could be wrong. Nice! Okay, we got Ghastly, so that completes the uh, Gengar line as well. That's a really cool looking Ghastly, actually. I've always really liked the Ghastly line. Uh, we have a non-reverse hollow Corefish. We have a... Re ooh, nice. Uh, reverse hollow steel types always make the more sense to me because that is what steel is. Shiny sometimes. Only sometimes. Will the last card of part two of the Crimson Invasion triple pack opening poker extravaganza HD remix and knuckles be a GX? I don't think it will be. But let's see. Okay, it's not, but it is a uh, Hydreigon. As well as the second one. I meant Hydreigon earlier when I said I hope uh, it gets a hollow version. This, okay, I thought for a second there that this was hollow, but it is not. It's a really cool looking card though. Very, uh, very detailed and stuff. And that is his ability and Dark Destruction, the 120 damage attack. So, it's been a pretty good uh, triple pack opening thing so far. Haven't got a GX or anything, but I'm not all of that bothered as a lot of the GXs seem to be around Ultra Beasts and I like Ultra Beasts but they're definitely not my favourite Pokemon from that gen and as always thank you very much for watching I'll put some you know extra 
title card things for subscribing and maybe a playlist to poke openings maybe the part one of this just in case you missed it or whatever and maybe another cheeky video up there maybe i'll put it as best for viewer or something who knows and until next time goodbye